Today we're gonna figure out what each country is best at. But before we jump into that list, we need to preface a couple things. Number one, best doesn't necessarily mean good. According to the Merriam-Webster dictionary, best is defined as better than all others in quality or value. Best is truly a form of comparison. You can be best at being bad. Basically, I'm just apologizing to Naru for calling you fat. Naru, I'm sorry. Number two, best is kind of loosely defined. I'm loosening this definition up because that's the only way I'm gonna get something unique for every country. Without this rule, most countries just wouldn't have anything. Or they would have something like, wow, Angola is 10th in fertility. Woohoo! That's just a boring list. So yes, best is loosely defined, but at least this way, we get something truly unique that each country is best at. Number three, the world is really complicated. <laughs> Almost every nation stat you see is an estimate, and thus, they're all debatable. Lots of countries claim the same things. Even how many countries there are is up for debate. So, to keep it safe, the UN officially recognizes 193 countries, and I will be covering 204. And four, I'm just a guy on the internet. I can't say for a fact that this list is 100% accurate. However, I spent over 40 hours researching this video to make sure that the information on here is at least verifiable between several sources and as current as possible. And you know that I'm being honest because how many YouTube videos start with the person saying that the information isn't totally accurate? <laughs> I'm over here pointing out statistical significance and so you know that I care. I care about you. We care about science on this channel. Consider this video primarily entertainment and secondarily learning. Also, I'm gonna be butchering tons of these names. Sorry. Okay, thank God that's out of the way. This video is gonna be long enough as it is. So, let's get started with Afghanistan. Afghanistan is the best at being horrible for women as rated by the Women, Peace, and Security Index in 2021. To keep it short and sweet, women basically can't do anything there without a man's approval. On top of all the other human rights violations, they aren't allowed to even star in TV dramas. One country in them, we're already talking about human rights crises. I promise this gets more fun, mostly. Albania is best at renovating Cold War bunkers. This is what they're super famous for. Every other list you're gonna see has this fact as well because it's actually pretty awesome. <laughs> Albania has nearly 175,000 bunkers that are basically just these little concrete domes scattered around the nation. They're in the beaches, they're in the countryside, they're in the cities, they're everywhere. Algeria is best at having a very cute national animal, the fennec fox. <laughs> Aww. Yes, I looked through every country's national animal to make this determination, and it is the cutest. It's the smallest species of fox in the world. Literally, fennekin is based off of these. It's a real life Pokemon and it's their national animal. Next, we got American Samoa, our first non-country, self-governing territory. They are the best in the world at making American football players, per capita. Currently, nearly 3% of the NFL is American Samoan. American Samoans are 40 times more likely to make the NFL than Americans. Andorra is the only nation that is ruled by two people who share the same title. Also, one of those princes happens to be Emmanuel Macron the president of France. <laughs> they do, however, have their own prime minister, so stuff does get done there. Angola, and more specifically, Luanda, is best at being the most expensive place to live. The average rent for a two-bedroom apartment in Luanda is 6,800 US dollars a month. This is basically just a way for Luanda to rip off wealthy expats from the oil industry. Antigua and Barbuda is best at leaving people out of the party because it's actually three islands, and only two of them made the name. Redonda is the third, and nobody lives there, but it does have a king, which basically happened because a rich guy from Montserrat boated over there and then had a whole ass ceremony for his son to make him the king of Redonda. Rich people things. Argentina is the best at having big ass fossils. <laughs> the largest known fossils of the largest known dinosaurs, the Titanosaur, which is an awesome name, have all been found in Argentina. Also, they're the best at fast government turnover. In 2001, they went through five presidents in less than 14 days. <laughs> Got the title and said, nah dog, I'm out. Armenia is best at being Christian and staying Christian. They are recognized as the first country to formally adopt Christianity as their state religion, and they also claim to have the first 
church in the world. Aruba is best at purifying seawater. They may not make the most, but they rely entirely on purified seawater since they have no sources of fresh water. And they take really great pride in the flavor and softness of their water, simultaneously making this water necessary for survival and bougie as f Australia is best at having a ton of national parks. 685. Although it's kind of cheating because they call literally everything a national park. Also, Australia is tied for being the best place in the world to find universal blood donors, with 9% of their population being O negative. Good place to be randomly bleeding out. Austria is best at skiing and ski jumping, and they have the most Olympic ski medals. Also, you can pretty easily argue they're the best at classical music composition, with Haydn, Schubert, and Mozart. Austria, not that you guys are snobs, but your hobbies are pretty Bond villain. Azerbaijan is the best at the world at arm wrestling, as it is the home to the Arm Wrestling Federation. Also, they have a city built on entirely on old oil platforms and stilts called Neft Deslari. <laughs> I don't know if it's truly unique, but it looks awesome and I want to go there and it's the biggest one that I found. The Bahamas is the best in the world at having swimming pigs. Also, it was home to some of the most famous pirates like Blackbeard and whatnot. Basically, it's a Pepe Pig island getaway for rich people. It's a treasure chest. Bahrain is best at growing a single tree despite all odds. The so-called tree of life is a single tree that is alive and well in the desert and has been alive since 1583, even though there is no obvious sources of water nearby. Bangladesh is best in the world at having rivers, with nearly 90% of the country being in very close proximity to a river. Also, they're the best place in the world to take a long walk on the beach if you exclusively walk on natural sea beaches. They have a beach that's 120 kilometers or 75 miles long. Really gives you time to get to know the person. Barbados is the best in the world at making rum. They invented it and I'm not thankful, but they also did make Rihanna. And for that, I am thankful. Belarus is the best in the world at making libraries fun. It's home to the diamond of knowledge, which is the national library of Belarus, and it looks more like a place you would trip balls than a place you'd go to read a book. Belgium is the best in the world at making chocolate, and Swiss, calm down. Also, they are the best at having trolling national symbols, mannequin piss, a little boy with his cock out taking a piss. <laughs> they dress him up for holidays, but his cock is always out, and it's weird, but it's also really funny, but it's also weird. Belize is best in the world at having a colorful flag, which has 12 colors on it. Technically, I know they're small colors, it doesn't actually look like a colorful flag, but technically it is. Also, they are the best at saving the Jaguars, because they have the only dedicated Jaguar reserve in the world, and the Jaguars were my high school mascot, so uh, go Jags. Benin is the best in the world at carving wooden masks and other intricate wooden carvings. Benin is home to one of the largest collections of wooden objects in the world. They look awesome and you can buy them on eBay. <laughs> Bermuda is the best place in the world to explore sunken ships because yes, they actually do have the most sunken ships. <laughs> also, according to one other source that I found, they have the most TVs per capita. So they're really good at watching TV. Some say the best. Bhutan is the best in the world at having unclimbed tall mountains. Okay, here we go. Gankar. Puen, Puen, Puensum is the tallest unclimbed peak in the world, but you're not allowed to climb it for religious reasons. Also, they're the best at valuing emotions over money. They are the only country in the world to officially measure happiness. At least officially because the US took over 30,000 Bhutanese refugees in 2008, so Bolivia is best at having cities really high up. El Alto and La Paz are the highest cities in the world at over 13,000 feet above sea level. Bosnia and Herzegovina are the best at knowing what time it is on the moon, at least publicly. They have the oldest and only public lunar clock in the world. The Sahat Kula clock tower requires regular maintenance for it to be accurate at all and for it to function, and Menzur Slatar has been maintaining this tower for over 50 years. Let's hear it from Menzur. <laughs> Botswana is the best at having elephants. They have the most in the world, and most of them are in Chobe National Park. They also have the world's biggest inland river delta, the Okavango Delta, which is a big mess of rivers, islands, and wetlands. And Botswana also makes the most diamonds by value in the world. Brazil is the best at having fresh water, thanks in large part to the Amazon, the world's largest river by volume. Also, they make the most coffee and have for the last 150 years. They also have the most species of plants and animals. They are the most biodiverse country in the planet. Brunei is the best of the world at making massive residential palaces. The Astana Nurul Iman is the world's largest residential palace with nearly 1,800 rooms 
257 bathrooms, a mosque, a government center, a massive 110 car garage, and five swimming pools coming in at over 2 million square feet. Also in keeping with the theme of lavish fun, Brunei is the best in the world at having roller coasters with eight per million people. To put that in perspective, the US has two per million. In less fun news, punishment in Brunei for being gay is being stoned as of 2019. Bulgaria is best at not losing flags in battle with a reported zero flags lost in battle. I'm just going to assume that other countries have lost some flags in battle. Also, Bulgaria is the best at making ancient calendars. UNESCO declared their calendar the best and most accurate ancient calendar in the world. Burkina Faso is the best in the world at having an ironic name. Burkina Faso directly translates to land of honest and incorruptible men, and they have a well below average score on the Global Corruption Perception Index, as well as going through six military coups within the first 20 years of gaining their independence. Burundi is the best of the world at not making pollution, largely because they are in extreme poverty. Yay! But on the bright side, for being a poor nation, they're the best at the Olympics. In 1996, they became the poorest nation to ever win a gold medal in their first Olympics. It's also their only medal ever, but hey, enter with a bang. Cabo Verde or Cape Verde is the best nation in the world at only having bats, or at least naturally. The long-eared bat is the only native animal to the island. Of course, this doesn't count birds or insects, but give me a break. It was really hard to find something for Cabo Verde. <laughs> Cambodia is the best at the world at being Buddhist with 97.9% .9 of the population, and also, they're the best at celebrating public holidays with 29. Cameroon is the best at having big frogs. Cameroon is home to the Goliath frog, which can weigh up to 3.2 kilograms or seven pounds. Cameroon also is in the competition for wettest place on earth, so it makes sense that big frogs would like it there. Canada is the best of the world at having fast internet with a national average of almost 60 megabytes per second. Also, Canada is the best at having land that's near water with 356,000 kilometers or 221,000 miles of coastline. Also, it pains me to say, as a Minnesotan, that they're the, uh, the, the best at hockey. Central African Republic is the best of the world at being hungry. Literally, they're the most undernourished country in the world. Also, they have the shortest life expectancy at 53.3 years. Oh my God. <sighs> okay, Chad. <laughs> Chad is the best at shrinking lakes. Lake Chad has shrunk over 95% since the 60s, 95%. Also, people from Chad are called Chadians, which I will now call the children of anyone I know named Chad. You're welcome, Chad. Chile is the best at being dry, with the driest place on earth. The Atacama Desert gets less than one single millimeter of precipitation per year. Some areas of the Atacama haven't seen rain in over 500 years. Also, some people argue that Antarctica is the driest place on earth, but that's not a country. Also, for my money, Chile might be the most beautiful place on earth, and it is a life goal of mine to go to the Torres del Paine. Okay, here we go, China. <laughs> China is the best at having the most people, although India is outpacing them for growth, but if China wants to get that growth metric back, then maybe they could stop being the best at having abortions with nearly nine million abortions per year. To put that into perspective, just the population of those abortions would be the 98th most populous country in the world. Also, China has the most Buddhists and the most people who believe in nothing. 52% of Chinese people are religiously unaffiliated, which is nearly 700 million people. Oh, also they make the most cars, catch the most fish, have the most executions, produce the most electricity, and use the most electricity, make the most pollution, have the most exports, internet users, counterfeits, infrastructures, tea production and consumption, rice production and consumption, most workers, soldiers, and they share the highest point on earth with Nepal. Everest is split down the middle, did you know that? Half of the top of Everest is China. <sighs> also, they're the best at making me terrified. Colombia is the best at the world at getting rained on with 3,240 average millimeters of precipitation per year. Also, they're the best at making emeralds and they have pink dolphins. Pink dolphins. Comoros is the best at cultivating their land, cultivating 
76.3% of it. Also, they're the world's leading producer of ylang ylang. I hate, I'm so bad at pronouncing this. It's a flower that's used in a lot of perfumes and medicines. The Republic of the Congo is best at having deep rivers. The Congo River is 720 feet deep at its deepest. Also, they are the only country on earth that still has the bonobo chimpanzee, which is considered to be the closest relative to human beings, unless you count people from Mississippi. The Democratic Republic of the Congo, yes, there are two Congos, this one's democratic, is the best at having big dicks with an average, with an average dick length of 7.1 inches in length. This number is, however, self-reported as most of these numbers are. So while we're on the topic, my dick is Cook Islands is the best in the world at losing people. Their population is currently declining at a rate of 2.46%, which is a rare case of not enough cooks in the kitchen. Boo. Costa Rica is the best at the world at making pineapples. Also, they're the best at having and protecting sea turtles with the most species and nesting sites. Cote d'Ivoire is the best at making cocoa. And they're the best at having little hippos. They are the native home of the pygmy hippopotamus. And they're all little hippos! Oh, look at them. God, they are so cute. Croatia is the best at having UNESCO intangible goods with 14. I don't know what this means. I read the definition and it's something like cultural practices, but uh, yeah, they're best at it. Also, a lot of Game of Thrones was shot there. Cuba is the best at boxing. Although this is debatable, they have a ton of wins and champions, especially for a country of their size. Also, Cuba makes the best cigars in the world. Cyprus is the best at making wells, at least in ancient times. They have the oldest wells in the world, dating back to as early as 10,000 BC. They also have the oldest wine label in the world, Comandaria, which dates back 5,000 years. Basically, shit's old there. Czech Republic is the best at not believing anything, with 76.4% of the population being religiously unaffiliated. They are also the best at drinking beer, by a lot. The average Czech person drinks 143 liters of beer per year. That average includes non-drinkers and literal babies. Life is meaningless, let's get drunk. Denmark is the best at having women earn more than men, at least on average. They are also the best at using wind power with 43% of their net energy produced by wind. Also, they're the best at not changing their flag with the oldest current flag dating all the way back to 1625. Djibouti is the best at having a salty, salty lake. Again, excluding Antarctica because it's not a country. Lake Assal is 1% more salty than the Dead Sea and is somehow even saltier than English football fans on the international stage. I'm sorry, England, I'm, I'm a Tottenham fan. I know pain. Dominica is the best at having hot lakes. Boiling Lake, Yes, that's its name. And yes, it's the hottest lake in the world. The one in New Zealand, which claims to be hotter, you can literally swim in. In this one, you really don't want to swim in it because it literally gets to 100 degrees Celsius or 221 degrees Fahrenheit. It's literally boiling naturally. Dominican Republic is best at making baseball players with easily the most pros per capita in the world. Over 10% of current MLB players are from the Dominican Republic. Also, they're the best at mining Laramar, and they're the only country to mine Laramar. Ecuador is the best at being close to the sun. Mount Chimborazo is the closest point to the sun because it is a tall mountain on the equator, which is the closest point on earth to the sun. Likewise, the entire country is the closest on average to space. Egypt is the best place in the world to stay on the goddamn path because they have an estimated 23 million landmines that are still deployed. Also on a more fun note, they are the best at having massive swimming pools. They have the world's largest swimming pool that is over a million square feet. El Salvador is the best at murdering people with a rate of 52 murders per 100,000 people. Yay! Equatorial Guinea is the best in the world at letting one person rule forever, at least with the same title. Mbusago gained control of Equatorial Guinea in a coup in 1979 and has somehow won every single election in a landslide sense. Good for him. The only other challenger is Paul Baya, who has ruled Cameroon since 1982, which is three years after. But Paul Baya was previously the prime minister for seven years before that, so he's technically been a ruler for longer, but not under one title. Eritrea is the best at suppressing the press. According to the World Press Freedom Index, they're somehow worse than North Korea. They are also often considered the North Korea of Africa. Estonia is the best at carrying their wives, <laughs> which is a popular sport in Estonia, and they've won the World Wife Carrying Championships 11 consecutive years. Talk about domination. 
Also, they are the best at making female models, with a rate of nearly 74 per million people. And no correlation doesn't equal causation. But I am convinced that here, it does somehow. Eswatini is the best at having badass names for its rulers. The king of Eswatini is translated in English to lion, and his mother, who rules jointly with him, is known as the she-elephant. In worse news, they're the last absolute monarchy in Africa, and they have the longest reigning king in history, who reigned for 82 years, from 1899 to 1982. He is also the current king's dad. Ethiopia is the best of the world at being behind every other nation. Literally. Their calendar is seven years behind the Gregorian calendar, so as of right now, it's 2014 there. Also, they have 13 30-day months. What the f Ethiopia? Get with the program. Also, they're the best at charging a literal s ton for internet at almost $400 per month. Fiji is the best of the world at breaking the laws of time. It's the only inhabited place on Earth that is on the Meridian Dateline. Meaning there is a place in Fiji where you can have one foot in today and the other foot in yesterday. It's boring time travel. Also, potentially they have the most cannibals. It's a pretty sketchy figure, so take this one with a grain of salt and maybe a little bit of oregano. Finland is the best at being happy according to the World Happiness Report. This is a net score, meaning that they aren't like the happiest like up here, but it means their average is good, basically meaning they're content all the time. They're so happy that they also have, by far, the most metal bands per capita, with happy bands like Apocalypta and Impaled Nazarene. <laughs> France is the best at having a lot of time zones, with 12. 12 different time zones because of the islands and territories they own. Also, France is the best at food, if Michelin stars are any indication. Also, they're the best at having tourists, because they have anywhere around 90 million tourists annually. Gabon is the best at having mandrel monkeys. You know, like the ones Rafiki is. Mandrels are the largest species of monkeys in the world, since chimps and gorillas are separate from monkeys. And Lopi National Park is thought to be the largest non-human primate population in the world. The Gambia is the best at the world at clearing up confusion around their name. Gambia in part goes by The Gambia, so that way it doesn't get confused with Zambia. If they ever start a football team, they are going to have the best player intros. Steve. The Gambia. Georgia is the best at inventing wine. They are largely considered the first place in the world to ever make wine. Not too much else to say about Georgia, but Georgia is super cool and I want to go. Germany is the best country in the world at taking in refugees, with nearly 1.4 million in 2018. They are also the most highly educated with an education rate of 94.3, which takes into account the weighting of higher education. Also, they have the biggest government surplus. They also published the first ever book, and they have the longest word to ever be published. Don Adam... <laughs> no, I don't know what it means. And lastly, Germany is best at handball and they are the best at making beer. Ghana is the best in the world at making coffins. Ghana coffins are super elaborate and they are crazy looking and you can get buried in a chili pepper there which is kind of dope. Greece is the best at having a crazy long national anthem, at least if you count it by lyrics. They have 158 verses. By comparison, the US national anthem has four verses. <laughs> also, Greece has the most archeological museums in the world. Greenland is best at being north, being a big island, and not living up to its name. Also, yes, I know that it's not a country. It's part of Denmark, blah, blah, blah. A bunch of these aren't countries. We've been over this. Grenada is the best at making their national meal sound literally awful. It's called oil down and i already have the runs guatemala is the best at having random sinkholes pop up in your cities in 2010 a 600 foot wide and 30 story deep hole opened up in the middle of guatemala city amazingly only one person died even though it took out literally an entire three story building guinea is the best in the world at relying on bauxite 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 about 80 percent of the country's foreign exchange involves bauxite also, my god, I spent nearly an hour looking for something on Guinea. <laughs> nearly an hour. And all I could find for it was bauxite? Bosite? I don't even know what that is. Guinea-Bissau is best at not speaking their national language. The national language of Guinea-Bissau is Portuguese, and the highest number I've seen for people speaking it is 11%, and one source estimates that only 2% of the residents of Guinea-Bissau speak Portuguese as their first language. It's hard to verify for a fact that this is the worst country at speaking their national language, 
but like 2%? Guyana is best at having an all around waterfall. Cater Falls is considered the largest single drop waterfall by volume in the world. Basically, it's one big falls and a ton of water comes through it. It's tall and it's hefty, just like me. Also fun fact, Mount Roraima is the inspiration for Paradise Falls in Up. Haiti is the best at powering hospitals by solar. Haiti has the largest hospital in the world that's entirely powered by solar. The sad part of this is, is it was built out of necessity because the entire country got destroyed in a earthquake in 2010. Also, to my knowledge, Haiti is one of the only nations where only one person needs to be present to get a divorce. <laughs> While these divorces aren't legally recognized in the US, this was done as a move to attract tourists with a weekend of partying, beaches, and finally ending your marriage. And I think that's the boldest tourism strategy I've ever heard of. Honduras is the best in the world at having coral reefs proportional to the size of the country. <laughs> the Mesoamerican Reef is the second biggest reef in the world, and it basically occupies the entire coast of Honduras. Yes, the reef technically runs through Belize and Mexico too, but Honduras needs something other than vying for the Myrtle capital of the world, which it competes regularly with El Salvador. Hong Kong, if they still count since China has taken them back, is the best at spending money with the highest household expenditure on average in the world, and they have the most skyscrapers in a city with 517. Hungary is the best at water polo and having the most porn stars per capita with over 75 per million people. Basically, Hungary just loves being wet. Iceland is the best at the world at taking antidepressants, thanks in part to their super long, dark winters. But on the positive side, they're handling their issues in a productive way. Also, Iceland is one of the best, if not the best in the world at using renewable energy with 100% renewable energy, mostly between hydro and geothermal. India, as previously stated, is the best at growing fast and they are the best at having Hindu people with over a billion people who are Hindu. They're also the best at making bananas, milk, they invented yoga, they have the most tigers, they have the biggest school with over 50,000 registered students. They had the biggest gathering of people ever in 2013 when 120 million people gathered in Prayangraj. <laughs> oh man. They also have the tallest statue in the world the Statue of Unity, which is twice as big as the Statue of Liberty. And if you've noticed a trend, when you have over a billion people, you just have a shit ton of firsts. <laughs> Indonesia is the best at having a lot of Muslims with 231 million of them. They also make the most coconuts and they have the most volcanoes. Iran is the best at having Shia Muslims. They are the only country in the world where Shia is the predominant form of Islam. Also, they are the best at making pistachios and the world leader in terrible dad jokes. How do I get across the Middle East? <laughs> Iran! <laughs> Iraq is the best at writing and doing it for a long time. Iraq is thought to be the birthplace of cuneiform script, the first form of writing that we have documented in the world. Ireland is the best at saving that money, saving on average about 60% of its annual GDP. And they are the best at being redheaded, with about 10% of the population being a redhead. They get this title since Scotland isn't a country yet, or maybe ever will be, I don't know, and apparently neither do they. Israel is the best at spending an R&D, with nearly 5% of their annual GDP going towards R&D. This is mostly split between medical, AI, computer systems, and cybersecurity. Also, Israel is the best at getting along with their neighbors. Oh. Italy is the best at making pizza. They invented it, and they are the best, and we will not argue about this. And most would agree that Italy is the best at fashion. Many of the world's top fashion brands are Italian, like Gucci, Prada, Armani, Valentino, you get it. Jamaica is the best at being fast, with most Olympic sprinting medals per capita. Jamaica has won seven of the last eight Olympic golds in the 100 meter sprint. Also, Jamaica is the best at having long copyrights at life, plus an additional 95 years. Japan is the best at being old, with 27% of their population being over the age of 65. Naturally, they have the longest life expectancy as well, at an average of nearly 85 years. Japan also leads the world in digital cameras by a sh ton. The top six selling brands of at least the last decade are Canon, Nikon, Sony, Fujifilm, Panasonic, and Olympus, and they're all Japanese companies. Japan also dominates video game console sales with the top eight selling systems of all time. Japan also has the most debt proportional to its GDP at 234% of its annual GDP. The US, for example, is 134%. Jordan is the best at being the Dead Sea being the lowest point on the surface of the earth. Also they're the best at having hedgehogs with long ears, specifically the home of the long-eared hedgehog. It's real cute. 
Kazakhstan is home to the highest ice skating rink in the entire world, which, because of its altitude, is home to over 170 skating world records. They also make the most uranium, which is fitting because they are the most nuked country in the world. The Soviets dropped over 200 nukes on testing sites in Kazakhstan. Great success. Kenya is the best at long distance running. Kenyan Elliot Kipchoge just broke the two hour marathon barrier. Yeah, yeah, some running purists call it cheating because of the shoes he was wearing and the fact he was drafting. But you know what? I call them assholes. Kenya is also the best destination for safaris, and they have basically banned all hunting within their borders. Kiribati, which is pronounced locally as Kiribas, is the best at not choosing a hemisphere. It's in all four. It's the only nation that's in all four hemispheres. Kiribati is also best at getting up early because it's the only country in the earliest time zone. Kosovo is the best at letting young people drive, where you can get a full entitled license at 14. Kuwait is the best at having valuable money. The Kuwait dinar is currently worth about 3.3 US dollars per dinar, easily the highest exchange rate in the world. Kyrgyzstan is best at being far away from oceans. The nearest ocean to Kyrgyzstan is the Indian Ocean at 1600 miles away. Kyrgyzstan is pretty much as landlocked as it gets, as they don't even have a sea. Laos is the best at eating sticky rice. The average Laosian eats 171 kilograms or 370 pounds of sticky rice annually. They are also the best at being bombed. In 2021, Laos removed its 300,000th unexploded bomb. And if you're wondering, that's about 30% of the total bombs that were dropped on Laos. Latvia is the best of the world at loving lies. There is a museum in Latvia dedicated entirely to, by their standards, the world's greatest liar, Aronimus Karl Frederick Freer von Muchenhausen, who is considered a national hero. Or is he? Lebanon is the best in the world at having a fake national bird. It's a phoenix, and it's badass. Also, Lebanon accepts by far the most refugees per capita, with nearly 20% of their population currently being refugees. And also, by my standards, they make by far the best baklava. Yes, I'm part Lebanese. And Lesotho. The best country at dying, with 15.4% of their population dying each year, and an average life expectancy of only 54.4 years. <sighs> okay. That's the halfway point. We've made it halfway. <laughs> For everyone's sanity, this is going to be a two-parter, so subscribe if you don't want to miss the second part. It'll be out in two weeks, or do whatever you want. Like I said earlier, I spent over 40 hours researching the things on this list, and I both went nearly insane and learned a ton from researching this, so I'm glad you're actually watching it is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> also, if you want to donate to any of the causes that I donated to in the video, which I think would be a great idea, I'll link to those in the description below. So thanks for watching. Sub if you don't want to miss the second half. Sub if you want to watch some other of the random stuff that I've got going. This channel is all over the place all the time. For those of you that have been with the channel, check it out. I have an end screen now. Woo! It's Khabib wrestling a bear as a kid. So enjoy that and I'll see you in two weeks to learn about the other half of the countries in the world. Goodbye.